Leave it to Disney to tackle a story and issues regarding racism, social society, social labeling, and stereotyping and drug use in a movie about talking animals. So what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, Psychoculture's Anarchy here with a movie review for you, Zootopia, Disney's newest movie, and perhaps one of its best one in this neo-renaissance. For the past f seven years, we've had a lot of fantastic Disney movies come out. We've had... Tangled, we've had Wreck-It Ralph, we've had Big Hero 6, Frozen, and now we have Zootopia, which is probably my favorite one. And I'm a huge superhero fanatic. I loved Big Hero 6, but this movie right here, Zootopia, is without a doubt the best. It stars a little bunny named Judy Hopps, voiced by, I forgot her name, Jennifer... Right, say in the comments below. As well as Jason Bateman as Nick Wilde, the Slaffy Cry Fox. I messed that up. Hang on a second. So anyways, this movie regards... Pfft, again? Really? Anyways, this movie revolves around Judy Hopps and her attempts to become a cop. Well, she does become a cop, but as she attempts to figure out the case of a bunch of missing animals, specifically predators, and figure out this whole conspiracy bullshit that's going around and all that stuff, and with her is the help of Nick Wilde, the sly crafty fox. Now, this movie, when I first saw it, I was just like, oh, it's another Disney movie. I mean, I'm probably going to go see it regardless, because Disney is known to be making really fantastic movies. But this movie is so much more deeper than I thought it'd be, because it really does tackle legitimately true issues. It's, it's really amazing how animation and comedy and all this lighthearted stuff, when you look underneath it all, it has some dark, dark messages and some real-world issues that are plaguing us today. Social stereotyping, racism, labeling, the drug use is real, corruption, all that stuff. And it's presented, I mean, it's a little blatant because it, it's it's in a kid kiddish form, but when you really do look at it, it is quite shocking, really, just seeing all that stuff. It's amazing how they pulled it off with this, how they made, they outed predators and prey and all that stuff. And it's just truly, really, this is a special thing. I really want you guys to go see it. I can't, I don't want to spoil anything. Say for a few things, there's like a few Easter eggs regarding um, the uh, Disney's other movies and all that other shit. But... And there's a good, there's a Godfather reference, which is it's it's pretty obvious, but it's also hilarious. But I do like the whole premise, the whole idea of it all. Um, I can't really, there's really not much to nitpick about this movie. This movie is straight up really, really well directed, well animated, well executed. Everything about it is amazing. I love every subtle detail from the DMV being run by sloths or the police force being primarily big brutes like, like we're, uh, we're powerful or the mayor of Zootopia being a lion, the king of the jungle. I love those subtle things and, you know, the whole reflection of it all in modern society. It shows how very smart this movie is. This is a very smart movie. I love it when animation has very clever, very real down-to-earth, like, movies and a uh, presentation that is a reflection of society as a whole. It really is quite quite spectacular how they pulled this off. I cannot praise this movie enough. There's maybe a few nitpicks. Um, maybe the first four, three minutes, it, it like, it's kind of just like, oh, hey, kids, like, this is a kids movie that's, taught, that's really this, this, this movie's about racism and social stereotyping. Adults, You'll understand, because adults do understand. I, when I went to see it, there was a lot of adults who were actually kind of had their jaws dropped a few times, because they were just like, holy shit, that's something that revolves around maybe Hispanics, or black people, or Chinese people. This is a fantastic movie, and I think that a lot of people should, I mean, in the end, it, it has an uplifting message, which uh, in some cases it is true, that the world is messed up, the world's a mess, the world's crazy. But there are those certain individuals or certain people who manage to rise above like what society deemed on them, what society labeled them as, and I love those kind of movies. I love seeing that, and that's why I say I give this movie a 10 out of 10 
March, you're off to a fantastic start. Then Cloverfield Lane is next week. And then we got Batman vs. Superman later on. And uh, just, dude, this I, uh, this month looks like to be a great month for TV and film in general. I really hope that this continues. The 10 Cloverfield Lane, Daredevil, the week after. And the very next week after that, Batman vs. Superman. March, you are on a roll right now. I just hope God doesn't stop the momentum this year. I really hope it's going to be a golden year for movies. And I really, really hope it does pull off. So, guys, Psychoculture's Anarchy here. Signing off to all my psychotics. You stay crazy, you fuckers.